Hey guys, we're at the Excel Group North America, which makes iZip. We're checking out the E3 Peak DS, and it has the Bosch Purion display panel. This is a smaller one. Bosch also has the Intuvia. It's removable. You can pivot the angles, and it has a functioning micro USB port. This one still has the port on the side here, but unfortunately, it's just for diagnostics, okay? And I have tested it. I've got the little dongle. I plugged my iPhone in. Nothing happened. So those are some of the trade-offs, but what you get is a really clean cockpit and just a really simple interface. I'm going to go ahead and press the power button on top, turn this thing on, boots up very quickly, and it's got this nice white backlight glow. Even from far away, you can see your speed, which is nice. So at the top, we have speed. Right now, it's in miles per hour. Down in the middle, we have some different trip stats. And then at the bottom, we have a five-bar battery infographic. So those are 20% increments. Maybe not quite as precise as a percentage, but one of the cool things about all the Bosch displays is that they have a range estimate. Okay, so I'm going to jump into this. On the left, we've got plus and minus. So you can arrow up and get eco. That gives you 50% assist. Tour, 120%. EMTB, which is only offered if you have a Bosch Performance Line CX motor. So these percentages of assist, they're going to vary depending on whether you have an active line, performance, performance line CX. But I'm telling you here with EMTB mode, that's sort of a all-in-one mode that gives you 120% all the way up to 300%, primarily based on torque feedback. Otherwise, it's listening to your rear wheel speed, pedal cadence, and pedal torque over a thousand times per second. It's one of the more sophisticated drive systems out there. So I press plus. Now I'm at turbo. That's just straight up 300%. You don't have to push quite as, as hard, but you're also just going to get plenty of power. And sometimes you don't want that if you're riding on a mountain biking trail. Okay, so some of the really interesting features here that I want to cover are right now we're in miles per hour, but if I hold the minus button and tap the power button, it switches to kilometers per hour. That's pretty handy. If you hold the plus button, a little light icon shows up here in the lower left-hand corner. There it is. This bike doesn't have any lights wired in, but the Bosch system is easy to work with. Some shops can actually wire them in for you. A lot of the bikes come pre-wired. And if you've got this little display, there's no light button. You just have to remember to hold that plus button. Okay, there we go. We did it again. Anytime you're in one of the four levels of assist, you can press the walk mode button down here. It says, says walk plus. That means hold the plus button, and then the motor will give you a few miles per hour worth of assistance. That's handy if you're in deep sand. Maybe you can't walk the bike or snow. You're going up a hill with a friend, and you don't want to push the bike. Or maybe you get a flat tire. Walk mode's pretty handy. A lot of the other e-bike systems have disabled it. Uh, Yamaha, Shimano, uh, it's... Trek in, in particular has disabled it for the Bosch system, so it won't necessarily always work, but that's how it would work if you had it. And then one of the other interesting feedback points here is if you hold minus for a second and then hold plus, see how it said reset? It clears your trip distance, and that's kind of handy if you want to keep track. Right now, we're in the range menu. Range is worth digging into a little bit more. So right now, we're in off. There's no assistance, but as soon as I press plus, it says, okay, we're in eco and your range is up to 85 miles per charge. That's fantastic. And the higher you go, tour, 43 miles. It just keeps you know, estimating that range dynamically, 32 miles in EMTB and 26 miles in turbo. Range is based on how full the battery is and the last mile of riding. So it's actually tailored to you. If I weighed more, if I wasn't helping quite as much, the range would, would change. And I think that's really cool because again, it complements the five ticks on the battery. That's, it's not very precise, right? But range is a lot better and you can kind of keep your eye on that as you ride and get some idea for how far the bike thinks you can go. But if I hold minus, it switches to level of assist trip distance, and odometer, or total distance. Okay, and at any time, see how it says total distance? If I press plus, it quickly overrides that with the level of assist I'm in, and then it switches back. So that's kind of what's going on there. And that's pretty much it. You know, it's a pretty nice display, but one of the things I've noticed is that sometimes pressing on these buttons, the minus and the plus symbols, it can be a little bit tough if you're at the lower edge versus the higher edge here because they pivot. They pivot in like this. So when I press, I try to be at the middle or close to the display. And you can hear that clicking. So I think that's it, guys. Some of the other things you trade here are you don't have average speed, max speed. There's no clock. There's no shift recommendation like you would have on 
the Intuvia, but you can upgrade to that. In some cases, dealers will let you pay a little bit extra and then they'll wire that system in and you can use that with the Kobe interface, which is a company that Bosch recently acquired to use your phone as the display and for GPS and other feedback. I guess that's it. I hope you have fun out there, ride safe, sound off with any comments or corrections and I'll see you next time.